just for complete transparency for guys that are going to make it through the entirety of this video, I'm not going to be like dramatizing things or anything like that. This is just going to be me talking about sort of the person that is Kobe and, 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 and kind of just looking at it from a lot of different angles. I was actually asleep um, and I rolled over the late and my lady was, uh, she was already awake. We were both taking a nap, but she was already awake and she was like, yeah, Kobe passed. And like she said it once, you know how when you sleep it, you kind of groggy and you like, what? You know, it doesn't really sound like real, definitely something like that. And, uh, you know, she, she I was like, wow. And I looked at my phone and then I saw everybody talking about it. And I'm not going to go as far as into the details because it's been a lot of conflicting reports. What we do know is that Kobe, as of now, Kobe and his oldest daughter um, were the ones that, that passed. Uh, what happened? It was a helicopter crash. And if there were other people on it, um, if, if, as reports are showing. But I don't want to say anything that hasn't been confirmed yet. So I'm just going to leave it up, you know, leave, just let you guys in on that. For those that may be new to the situation, Kobe, basketball player, NBA player, Kobe Bryant, as well as uh, his oldest daughter. Now, the reason why it sounds so real but, or surreal is like, you think of basketball, not even just basketball players, sports players, Certain ones certainly are immortalized, but, you know, in helicopter crash and stuff like that, like you don't really hear a lot about that um, among among like very, very prominent, certainly figures like that. Um, that's usually something like, as you know, one of my favorite musicians um, from Oak Cliff, Texas, Stevie Ray Vaughan, he, he passed in a, in a helicopter crash. But you hear more stuff like that in, let's say, entertainers and, and actors, actresses and and stuff like that it doesn't happen all too often, but it does happen. This, as far as I can remember, is the most like impactful sports death that I could ever remember. This was in a situation where he grew old or, or something like that. I, there's been like deaths like that where people die of, you know, just old age disease and stuff like that. And uh, it's, I don't want to say you expect it, but those players are, you know, they're older and you expect that more than what you would expect something like this, which is, you know, Kobe's 40. Uh, he was 41, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, wasn't that long ago. He was actually in the league and it's Kobe, right? It's Kobe. So it does humble you, right? It puts it in the perspective that these guys are not immortal. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know we, everybody, definitely going to have those edge lords who are like, oh, people die every day. And they do. You're correct and in a sense. But when you have somebody that's impacted not only the game of basketball, but is iconic to people that don't even know, uh, they don't even basket followers of basketball. They know who Kobe Bryant is. Uh, because he was not only just this, you know, phenomenal player, um, you know, came in age 18, but also probably the closest thing to, and I'm not trying to say this to diminish what Kobe had, had accomplished, but it's the, probably the closest thing that you are ever going to see to what most people consider the greatest or who the person that most people consider the greatest of all time in Michael Jordan. Probably the closest thing you're ever going to get to that. Um, yes, we know that, you know, LeBron is still doing what he's doing. Uh, but as far as that play style, he's not Kobe. He's not Mike. You know, the closest thing to Mike is it is Kobe. And I'm, I'm not even that much of a, you know, I wasn't that much of like the, big, the greatest fan. You know, I could appreciate what he had done, and, um, you know, for the game, for the sport. But it's funny because – when I was seeing him come up, he was probably that. Yeah, he was that. He was that perfect generation of people that, like, yeah, when I was a youngster. So he came in what was that ninety? He was mid. Was it ninety six when he came in? If I'm not mistaken, and I was six, you know. So I got to pretty much see his entire career grow, and it was cool seeing a guy that young be that impactful out there on the floor and continue to make those accomplishments. Um, getting a ring without without Shaq and, and what have you. It was just, it was cool to watch. But the thing that I appreciated most of, of him 
even though I would, I've never been a fan of the Lakers, not I wasn't even a fan of, uh, of Kobe like that. But getting older and hearing about the guy's work ethic is crazy. If you just read some of the stories and how cerebral he is, and even if you watch the deal that he has on ESPN Plus, where he kind of breaks down the game, he looks at it from a standpoint that is just. He was physically gifted. Definitely when he came in, he could jump out the gym. But as far as him being good, that was all that was all him. It was all her work. You know, um, that's like sort of the the mecca. That's like the you look at him as the cream of the crop when it comes to a guy that just beat on his craft all day long. First to the first to the gym, last out it. And was always just working, was always just like massive um, competitor, right? That was what we knew Kobe for, was was this crazy competitor. But the thing that just puts really things into perspective is just, yeah, he is immortalized, right? He was immortalized whether he passed or not. That was all going to happen. I think that's why it's it's crazy because you don't think of them being immortal. You see what I'm saying? Like, yes. He's immortalized in the game. Like no matter if he had passed or not, it it it's Kobe. You know who Kobe is. You expect Kobe to be Kobe. But these guys, you know, they aren't. No matter what it is they do, no matter what all they have access to, unfortunately, when it's you know, you can it, it just takes one unfortunate situation, and then just like just like anybody else, uh, they 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 pass. But I think this is gonna be for sure. This is the most tragic death that I could ever remember. Um, in recent years that like like um premature death in sports history at least in my in my as far as what i remember um yeah I'm like as far as like maybe uh, at period maybe the michael jackson thing i think was crazy when i remember when that happened but this is nuts like i like it, it just you know you're reading it and it just sounds so unreal not only again because of what he accomplished as a player but because he he didn't live like what you thought maybe the lifestyle of of somebody like that would maybe maybe um you know cut a premature death like you would see him all the time he'd be at the Lakers games you see uh, not just that but again he's breaking down his damn game he had his show so he was out there it was like so now it just stops right and it just puts everything into perspective man and just just um but I would say the thing that got me the most, if there's anything, I'm like, man, this is this sucks. This has got to be the fact that his daughter was with him, and his other daughters, his wife, you know, probably found out about the news the way we all did. That's how fast information spreads. They have to be utterly devastated. Like that is nuts, man, and. That part is what I'm like, man, like it, it just really it, it 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 humbles you in the sense that not even the people that you think are immortal are actually immortal. You know what I mean? And you can make the argument and I would agree that you should feel like that anyway, you know, no matter the stature of somebody. But I do think people do great things. Um, people impact people's lives uh, in, in, in greater ways than others. And that guy had impact <laughs> that guy had um impact and that's why people are going to talk about it so the edge lords that are going to be like uh, people die every day going to come up with their memes and stuff like that usually a lot of those will be behind anonymous accounts and everybody so people die every day i get it i understand that and yes i do agree that if if you would make the argument that you know you got family and stuff like that that should impact you as it impacts you more i mean it's it's like that with me but there is still you can two things can be true and you can still analyze this and you can understand how impactful kobe was and you know you can appreciate that and and understand that this is like this is a bomb on the on on just the the game in general it's funny because just the video on this right when i was going through my 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 Sega games, and I don't think this card is worth a whole lot, but I know this. I, I I did some pondering on it, and I was like, I don't think this is mine. Like uh, I don't think this is worth much. It's a Kobe Fleet, one of those uh, Fleer, excuse me, Ricky cards, 
And I don't think it's 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 worth that much, but this isn't mods. I think this is my cousin who is a huge Laker guy. Laker guy is as long as I remember, and I believe we're gonna go see him here here soon. And um, I gotta get I gotta make it a point to give this to him. I have to make it a point because he would really really like that. But he was a, I mean he was a huge Kobe guy. He was always oh, Kobe 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 Kobe. So. Yeah, man, I just wanted this video out there because I know a lot of people are going to be joining my streams and stuff, and I don't want to be talking. I don't want this to dominate the conversation. Um, so I just want this video to be out, and I'll point to you. I'll point it to you. Hey, I already talked about it. Go check my video. What are my thoughts? Because a lot of people are going to ask about my thoughts because I'm a big basketball guy. I'm a big sports guy. Um, so that, I just want the video out there, man. And uh, like I say, man, just just pray absolutely for his, <clears throat> for, you know, for his wife. And that that's... <sighs> that that's probably the one that when you think about it in that perspective, doesn't matter who you are. Like, doesn't matter. Like you, you understand somebody losing <clears throat> two people like that in, in an instant. Like that's that's tough, man. That's tough on anybody.